on the 7th of March 2018, this story and statement appeared on the website of Crispin Blunt MP, member for Rygate in the United Kingdom. The headline reads, Crispin Blunt joins his constituent Pat Harrington as she delivers her petition to 10 Downing Street. The picture below is of Crispin Blunt on the far left escorting a group of five people who include parents of children who've died overseas in suspicious circumstances or as a result of murder, uh, plus a couple of supporters. There were 10 other parents outside a gate near 10 Downing Street in support. There's a story below, and I've reproduced that story in larger typeface to make it easier to read. The date of the story is Wednesday, the 7th of March, 2018, and it reads, Ben Harrington, 32, died on the island of Koh Tao, Thailand in 2012. Yesterday, Crispin Blunt joined his constituent, Patricia Harrington, and other parents of young victims as she delivered her petition to 10 Downing Street, which has generated 15,000 signatures. The petition asks that the government takes action on British deaths abroad, calling for unexpected deaths to be properly investigated by British authorities. Crispin Blunt MP commented, quote, I commend Mrs Harrington's efforts and I am championing her push for the government to investigate British deaths and corruption within Thailand's police force, including the possibility that officers have been colluding with criminals over the deaths of vulnerable foreigners. I believe these deaths, many of which are still unexplained, warrant proper investigation and the Foreign Office needs to talk to other Western missions in Thailand to see what patterns are emerging. If a pattern is established, then tourists and particularly unseasoned gap year travellers should be warned by official travel advice. And this is what Crispin Blunt looks like. This, of course, is Pat Harrington. And this picture is of her son, Ben Harrington, who died on the 30th of August, 2012. It appeared that he had died as a result of a mugging that turned into murder. However, the Thai police simply dismissed his death as a moped accident, even though no one saw his moped crash. His watch and his wallet were both missing and his injuries were quite inconsistent with having been involved in a moped crash. Now, a moment ago in Mr. Blunt's statement, he referred to the corruption of Thai police. The fellow standing up with his hand on the head of a young man is the former head of the Thai police force. His name is Somyot. He was quite instrumental in having these two young Burmese men in the front being framed for the killings of Hannah Witheridge and David Miller in September 2014. This particular picture is taken in October 2014. And there were captions like this that appeared shortly afterwards. The interesting thing about Somyot is like many other police officers, he has been caught up with accusations of having involvement with Thai criminals. For example, this picture and this story comes from February of 2018 and it concerns his loan or his borrowing of 9.5 million US dollars from a fellow who had been charged with running a, an illegal brothel, which was involved in human trafficking and the prostitution of underage girls.